Tonight we're going to chat about something that I started as a regiment years ago, dating back to um, my days, first days in the industry as a guide. And what I, what has got me to this point as far as this regimen that I set in place and what I'm speaking of is scent control. Dating back to the days of why I believe so strongly in the program and the regimen that I'm going to explain to you is I can remember very vividly the first time that this all connected, all the dots connected for me. Now, as a lot of you know, I started my outdoor career um, in the outdoor industry as a guide and um, I you know, lived in, in Pike County, Illinois and ran um, hunts down there for a lot. I was only there like six months, ended up taking the assistant management position and, and we, um, together with a good friend of mine, we ran the lodge and um, I miss every day of it. It's like second home to me. Where this connects into this regimen is this. I, um, it was always a, um, as a, as a young kid growing up here, you know, hunting, bow hunting, especially, I, I always knew that I had to have the element to go to the next step. I can remember it just like it was yesterday. I was in Illinois and it was actually a, a hunt that started on, it was either a Saturday or a Sunday. And, um, we had, you know, we had a couple of days off before that or a day off before that. And I, elected to, you know, kind of go out on night on the town and, and go get some something to, to eat and hang out with some friends. And I can remember that next coming, the few days that led after that or connected after that, like I said, just like it was yesterday. Started the hunt back up and I was always a take a shower at that point, you know, going from just field spray going into now that I was, you know, in you know, not only was it my hunt that I was dependent on, now it was my client's hunt that I was dependent on. I really started to up my game as far as what I thought at that point was was good. So um, after that, you know, night out on the town, getting ready for the next uh, five-day hunt, which was, you know, took in about six days by the time that we got the lodge ready and everything um, set in place, I showered the morning, you know, the morning uh, before taking the clients out, before pick, picking up the clients at the lodge. And I can remember after I got my clients, we sprayed down, obviously my clothes are clean. You know, I had, I had, uh, you know, showered that morning and I can remember getting back to the truck and thinking, man, you know, I smell cologne. I smell body spray. Like I didn't shower. And I, I don't know if it was just because I was looking for it at that point or what it was. I, you know, I didn't, had, hadn't changed the uh, cologne or my deodorant or anything like that. But I can remember that very vividly thinking, oh, wait a minute. Now this is, this is two or three days after and I'm still smelling this cologne. Now how, how does this affect what I'm doing? But that's where it started getting very important to me. I started really looking at it because I was filming at that point and not only filming my, my clients, but also filming for ourselves. And I really started thinking there's got to be there's got to be something there's got to be more I can do. So every year, what I did is I started um, going to my uh, regimen of of scent elimination sooner. So I started it. You know, I would I would uh, eliminate it, clone in, you know off the bat. I took it right out of my regimen during hunting season. Still, once or twice, I could still have that. I you know whether your, my net got wet. Or, or I would um, my, the, the sweat, you know, out hanging tree stands, or whatever the case was. I could always, some somewhere along the line there, I could always smell something, and uh, you know, a trace of that clone or deodorant. So what I um, what I have started to do is I have searched and searched and searched and searched to try to find a scent elimination system that was one manufacturer, so I didn't have. A, a, you know, a scent spray or field spray by one person a, or a deodorant by the other. So I, I started trying to put, put this all together. So it was one brand I had, you know, faith in one, um, whether it worked or not, I just kept eliminate them, eliminating them. Well, to make a long story short, guys, is the regimen that I believe in has to start with your scent elimination does not just start at the truck the morning before you go into the tree stand, the evening before you go, you walk in for an evening sip. This regimen that I believe in starts the middle of September. Now, if you're 
Now this is on an October 1st opener. If you're already in the woods, if you're watching this, it's uh, you know the first week of September, and you're already um, in the hunting um, in the deer woods, then obviously you back it out 30 days prior to that. I, or 15 days prior to that, two weeks before the op your opener. After trying this and and really bringing this issue to the surface, I soon uh, realized what it was. It is the colognes, it's the lotions, it's the body sprays. That stuff just does not go away overnight. And what that's meant to do, there are actually um, solutions in there, and you'd, I'd have to you know read back on what exactly they are. I used to be able to tell you exactly the chemical. Uh, but what it is, it's a chemical that actually sets into your skin, the pores of your skin, that doesn't go away. And you can wash and wash and wash and wash, and it will not go away. Now, th so there's, I've struggled with that. So I, I finally set this regimen in as I start every year, I start the process of sending elimination on, because of our opener here, like at home in Michigan. Now, if I'm going on a hunt any, anywhere else, obviously I started before, but on an October 1st opener, whether I'm guiding or whether I'm doing what I'm doing now full time, as far as out on client properties, and then you know after the first week of October, all geared towards um, my personal hunting, is the regimen that I set in, in stone was I started my scent elimination on September 15th, two weeks before the opener. Now, to some folks, you're going to say, well, what is the reg regimen and how crazy do you get with this? I pull all my clones. I pull all my um, scented deodorants. I pull um, everything um, as far as my, you know, my clothes, my personal clothes don't get washed, obviously in in a uh, you know a scent-free detergent. But my hunting clothes obviously are pre-washed before season, stored away in a you know safe uh, container. I use um, I use the uh, leaf bags, the non-scented leaf bags. I take it right out of the dryer. I put it right into the leaf bags in a bag and then in a tote. That's that's how I store and transport my my hunting clothes. Now, as far as the regimen itself, what this is is I start on or, uh, September 15th, so 15 days before the opener, um, wherever you're going to be hunting. And what this is, guys, is I have finally found over the last years of struggling with this, I reached out to a company, uh, this is two years ago now, and the company is no scent, and you see the uh, products that we use. And it's a three-step It's a three step um, process. So you start with your body and hair wash. Obviously, it comes with a um, detergent uh, for your clothes, and then the field spray. So it's a three-part system, and it's all one manufacturer, and it all works together. The only thing outside of this that I use is I use Arm & Hammer um, unscented baking soda deodorant. That's how I, that's the process that I use, and I don't use any uh, body sprays, no cologne, no anything after that. I do not use any other shampoo. I don't use any other, uh, I don't use cologne or anything after after that, I extend that from if your season ends on January 1st, then I run the entire fall with this. Now, if you're the, the ladies watching, the issue that we have ran into before, I obviously don't have that problem. If I took my hat off now, standing under the can light, you'd you know why. But uh, I, I don't have the hair issue that um, a lot of folks have. My son with a, uh, his luscious mullet right now is, is going to be learning this real shortly. Uh, but all you know, all joking aside, is the the women really have an issue because they've always you know there's no uh, it's real real harsh on your skin. A lot of these products are, and it's it's uh, it's hard on the hair. It dries your hair out and everything else. Well, so this product is is something that I I haven't I've never used and I've used all of them out there. I've never used a product that is as strong as keeping your your skin it does a good as good a job as keeping keeping your skin hydrated and also what hair i do have left I, my hair is not it's not greasy but it's not dry and it uh it's it's the real deal guys and i don't know if you followed along with any of those no scent um the uh, videos that they offer that i you know ones i haven't done but that they offer on their websites where they take the spray and you know at the shows and, and squirt it in the uh, the smelly uh, shoes or the gym shoes and they, it goes away. 
that that is the power of this product what it is guys is there is a lot of products out there just like anything in the world but in our this world that we're speaking of there's a lot of products out there that take the enzymes and just cover them up it's a cover scent there's a lot of products that on your field spray that say uh it's a cover scent that's what it was meant for that's what it was built for because of the reason that i had chatted about that's why i brought this up about just getting out of sports or or school and running home or work and grabbing that field spray and spraying it to cover up your scent well it goes above and it has to go above and beyond that and i time and time and time again you know not just in the tree stand but walking to the stand walking you know back out of the stand in the evenings um leaving this scent um disbursement everywhere this cone that follows you in and out and just the scent track that you're leaving the scent web if you will uh that is the reason that I go back to September 15th, 15 days before your opening day, whatever that is, we're, we're talking about October 1st here, so September 15th, and that's the reason that I implement this. So I, I get rid of all my shampoos, the scented shampoos. It will totally shock you how much better of a product, of, of an outcome you can get when you use a product that's worth, worth using, one, and two, that height keeps your skin hydrated and your and your hair, you know, if not from drying out. And the, the scent elimination system, this the field spray, actually takes those enzymes and instead of covering them up, it destroys them. It's a hundred percent. Now, there's a lot of companies out there, 99%, you've heard it all, but with with the no scent system, I truly believe that if you do your part, it can be a hundred percent. Now I'm not talking about you know, uh, forgetting to use the body wash, just use the, just use the spray and the, you know, expect miracles. I'm not, I'm not talking about the boots that get worn into the, you know, your rubber boots, but you're still wearing, wearing them into uh, breakfast. If you do your part, you do your steps, you keep your, your, um, your, uh, hunting clothes stored as they should. You don't wear them into the restaurants um, after you get out of the woods in the mornings. Um, you don't wear them back in the cabin. You get dressed at the truck. If you do your part, the the connection to a successful no scent system, I believe, is just is just that. It's just the company right there is no scent. Um, Mike Austin, the owner of, of No Scent, is a great Christian man. You cannot ask for a better man to do business with. And he's a partner of ours. And once I found this product, guys, I do not get paid for, for, for telling you this information. I did not make any royalties off this. This is just how strong I feel about this process. And to me, that regimen that I started, that I do every year, that I've done now for dating myself here, but uh, 20 some years, is is to start that 15 days before the, the season and run it the entire length of the season. is not something that a lot of people do, not a lot of uh, hunters, male or female. But guys, I'm here to tell you right now, if you are using body spray, if you're using clone, if you're using scented deodorant, you need to can it way before the uh, night before or the morning, uh, or just take you know starting that shower the, the morning before you go out in the woods. If you start it the 15 days before, you will see a drastic change. Uh, guys with beards, make sure that you're using this. I'd wash the the beards tw twice or three times. You can see in the fall a lot. Uh, what I do is I go just the opposite of what a lot of folks do is, you know, deer, deer camp and, and the beards and, and uh, I get it. They're cool, but it's a scent trap. So I go the opposite. I ended up, I end up shaving, not completely, but, um, you know, I, I get rid of a lot of uh, facial hair come season just because of that reason. Now, it, it may sound, you know, extreme to a lot of folks and I get that, but I'm here to tell you this is something that um, I don't veer off from. I don't experiment with, I don't try to add things in, I don't try to take things away from it. The process of using, starting your scent elimination um, on 15 days, two weeks before your, before your opener will save you uh, time and time again. It'll save you a lot of, of heartaches, it'll gain you a lot of success in the tree stand. The scent elimination process does not start October 1st. It has to start sooner. It's a huge misstep. It's a, we, we expect as humans, we expect, uh, you know, if I'm going to buy a $20 um, bottle of scent elimination system, uh, system or spray, 
I expect it to to do just that. It says it you no know, takes away 100 percent or, or or of the odor. And guys, we have to do our part. Some at some point you have to take that responsibility on your own shoulders. And this system is the only system that I use is the No Sense products. And the reason that I do I feel that strongly about it is because of just that. Not a lot of folks believe in the in the regimen that I teach and preach. Um, because they, they feel that they have to be, you know, the, the guy that smells the greatest in the office, I don't, or, you know, or the, the, the ladies that we all, you know, love everybody that smells good, that's perfect hygiene. But here, I'm here to tell you is the products that the, the females use in their hair, the guys with your, your beard products, um, you're expecting miracles to happen with sunny elimination spray. And it's, it doesn't, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work. This product I believe that if you put a line of folks together and we had the top sprays in the uh, country right now that's available, we lined them all up and no, nobody showered before and we just, you know, tried to get that um, outcome of the, the uh, spray to eliminate everything. I, I think that you would see if there was a way to gauge that, I think that you would see uh, no scent number one, if not at the top in the top five of all the products out there. So. It, it just does that you can take try it you know take your old boots spray it in there and it's not a cover-up a lot of them you can take you can spray it and uh, you know two three weeks down the road you know if you don't even even if you're not using them a lot they stink again guys I'm telling you if you use the system of no scent and you, you implement my regimen that like I said I teach and preach to start your scent elimination two weeks before and run it the entire season Taking your products, taking your, your smell goods, taking your cologne, uh, taking your body lotions, all that stuff out of the out of the picture. So that stuff is not soaked into your skin. And, you know, um, replacing it with a good scent elimination product such as No Scent. I'm here to tell you that that is the key to, to having a No Scent um, elimination system um, that you can that you can implement and be successful successful with going into the uh, 2020 season. Thanks guys.